Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Inner Zanzara, I'm Mark91 and last time we went through the dark caves and encountered a uh, shadow elf with quite a new, uh, quite an assortment of new fairies uh, which wouldn't fit into that video and I don't want to get another two part, I already have two okay so let's see Jumbrock, we don't have any fairies that are effective against stone Although we did catch uh, a Mentor, which is Psy and effective, and effective against stone, but he would be on the level, then we don't have him now. Uh, Goop and Fatrial, they can be uh, cannon fodder for uh, Bjö, who I find out isn't, as, isn't very strong in the health department, but strikes very fast and is quite mobile. For his Tinazard, we have the Dana, and for his Greaselock, uh, We'll have to chance it. So, let the battle begin! Okay, first off... Yeah, jump. Oh, already half of my health, so better switch to Blumella for this one. Okay... I have to look... I have to say I like the look of Jump Rock quite a bit, but... Oh, he got away. Uh-oh. Uh, Grem... Oh, no, <laughs> Grem. Almost switched to Dantana. Yeah, that would have been bad. Okay. Uh, the, oh, almost got away, huh? Uh, Goop. It's Darby in his uh, turn. Okay, the reason I got a Tinnifal, I might as well tell you that, it was to get a Tinnazard, so I wouldn't have as much problems uh, with Ice Fairies anymore. But uh, I think with this fight it's a bit too late, seeing as well, Graham is a very powerful uh, Ice Fairy. It's the uh, latest evolution of the, the Fees and Grease uh, line. And with that we've already seen uh, three of the four Ice Fairies. Only one remains. And this guy is taking quite a bit of di uh, damage. Uh, nah. <coughs> ah, what the? Uh oh. Not effect. Uh, <laughs> yeah, see uh, what I meant in s with Darby not having a lot of health. He has around 50 or so, while well, most by now have 80 or s um, 80 or so. Uh, why am I trying to fight him with <laughs> Graham? The Dana will make short work of this little dragon. And, oh, almost got away. Uh, Grem, your turn again. And yeah, Grem's the only one I have which is decent against Grim, uh, Gremlock now. So if he falls, I'm in trouble. The other, uh, the rest of his team uh, will go down. Will probably go down pretty easily. But Grem's the main problem. No, no, Greaselock uh, uh, Grease is the main problem. Uh, Jumrock, well, I think Blumella can take him. Oh my. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, survive this. Might as well get as much hits in as I can. Uh, one final shot. And let's move around a bit more to make it harder for him to hit. He probably will hit me before I get another... Oh. Okay, this will be the final hit of him that I can receive. If he can hit me. But let's see if we can get him before he gets me. I keep uh, saying... Hit. I keep combining... Yes! 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 I keep alternating between uh, him... Uh, what? between me and us and such uh, I don't really know which I should I, I'm the one pl playing but you're the ones following me and watching all of this okay there we go one more hit and there we go little dragon gone and a bit of ah, <laughs> healed a bit yeah, it seems or it, yeah I've <laughs> There we go. Oh, and down again. Whoever's going to survive this is going to get a load of experience. And that's stupidly missed. 
say who is alive? Uh, oh, Lumela and Tinnafor. That's a, now that's t uh, this one guy is a bit of a problem. Luckily, he's on low health. So let's finish this and not die. This this will be embarrassing if he manages to kill me now. I'll need to avoid his attacks. Yes, there we go. Yes. Whew. That was quite. That was a good battle. That was a good battle. No denying it. Sadly, though, only Bumela will get experience, which could have been a uh, not. I would have liked. Okay, not even a level. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can't defeat us all. I just kicked your. Well, you almost kicked my ass, but yeah, we we kicked each other's asses. <coughs> okay, aftermath. Good match. Yes, yes. Even if this uh, recording fails, I'm going to keep that uh, just because it was such a good battle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and one final one for Blumela. There we go. Let's continue on. There's a gold sphere up there, which we can only reach if we had the fairy card of air, which we don't, and a silver sphere hidden behind here. Okay then. Let's see what's around this place. I believe I already know where this leads, and there's a boulder over there. I'll have to remember that. Uh, there's probably something hidden behind it, because I don't see an, anything looking like an open an, an entrance through there. In yeah, a thousand and one coins. Okay, the Tower of the Dwarves, but we can't see any towers. But. There's nothing over here. Okay. Yeah, there it is. The Tower of the Dwarves. And an owl, of course. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> You've come a long way, Amy. Anyone who travels the deep canyons and valleys of Sanzara must be experienced and have stamina. But believe me, if you climb to the very top of these mountains, you're still never, uh, you've still never seen the highest point of Sanzara. No natural path leads there. You have to use the dwarves, el dwarves' elevators. Uh, driven by the magical uh, energy contained in the legendary uh, elemental stones. Okay, I got the element. Uh, I was confused. The ele evolutionary stones and the e elemental stones. These elevators will take you to the strangest places of Sanzara. Depending on the des destination, such an elevator requires different elemental stones to function. The elevator just around the corner requires those of air, earth, and nature. Uh, they always have to retreat. Yeah, and we don't have any uh, elemental stones. So yeah, with the I, I kind of screw up with the uh, description of Tinnafall where I said it you know, were the elemental stones of fire, earth, and such. But it was were it's the uh, evolutionary. So yeah, <laughs> made a mistake on my uh, video where I was planning on to make up for mistakes. <laughs> uh, irony. And this is the lift. And as you can see, none of those uh, things are active, so we can't do anything here. Oh, at least out here. There's a dwarf over there, but uh, let's let's talk to him and see what we can. Yeah, yeah. This place behind me is special to us dwarves. If you want to enter it, you have to defeat me in a good fairy battle for uh, fairy duel first. Uh, you'll need at least one psi fairy in your collection, though. Otherwise, I won't even um, bother to try. Are you ready to fight? Uh, I am ready, but I don't have a psi fairy. Slop, sloppy. <laughs> He's short. He's a cocky. Yes, short son of a bitch, huh? <coughs> So uh, there should be yeah there uh, there is an a rune uh, there is a rune uh, ring around you somewhere so we just have to find the uh, rune of this place and then I can just go off back to London get uh, get man tower and be back for the battle. The whole land is going to wreck and ruin. The entry to our beloved home in uh, in um, Menagram. 
It has been blocked by a huge rock. Dwarf Master Quinlan has vanished and the sh and a ghastly shadow elves are you know, roaming the mountains. One of them even tried to get into our tower because there, uh, that's where my brothers and I keep one of the three elemental stones, the Stone of Earth. Which is why we're here. Now we know that. <laughs> Only by uniting this stone with the lost elemental stones of air and nature you know, can you activate the old, eleva eleva old elevator and travel to the realm of clouds. But since we guard the tower, you must defeat each of us in a fairy duel in order to get the stone. Would you care to try? Eh? Yes. Okay, let's see. Man tower, man tower, and clum. Where is this clum? Yeah, clum over has a hat. So this shouldn't take too long for a tinnifal. Yeah. <clears throat> come on. Yeah, he's already spamming his attacks. There we go. Oh, come on. Yeah, I might as well put a bit of Darbio in here. Uh, yeah, Darbio is quite mobile, and he strikes far stronger than. Uh, you know, his attacks do more damage than Tinnifal and Blumella, but. He is vulnerable, so I'd consider him sort of a rogue in this game. Oh, oh no mana. Uh, switch to the other spell. Yeah, with, if you press E, you can switch your spell sets. And this next blast should take him out. Okay. <coughs> Come on. There we go. Uh, back to Tinnifal. Okay, come on, where are you? Where, yeah, you are. And that's two down. Only one. Oh, that's all three of them down. Yes, dumb me. Silly me. Okay, I'm think. Yes, level? Mm, yes. Okay. Uh, no level here, I'm thinking. Uh, well, let's see. Four, three, two, one, level. Okay. Come on. There we go. So you've beaten me. Ha, but you never win against my three brothers. Uh, brothers. Follow me in, uh, into my room if you like. I know quite a lot about the platform. Uh, which will do, because I don't think I will be able, I'll be able to fit another of these battles in here. And there's the rune stone. Or it's the rune. <laughs> I've been more luck. I've been watching that let's play of uh, Gauntlet too much by I believe Alexander Frost, if I'm right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a random shout. Uh, no, not. What does it count as a shout out or a call out? What? Nah, I don't know. Okay, this is his room. Uh, let's see if there's anything around. Yes, some goodies. Mana, big healing, and big healing. Uh, let's see what you have to say. A long, long time ago, Quinlan asked us, you know, asked us to guard the elemental stone of uh, Earth. These stones are rare and precious. We dwarves use their, ma uh, use their magic power to run our machines. The elevator near the tower is activated by three stones. It requires the elemental stones of air, earth, and nature. There are other elevators as well, which need other stones. I'm afraid that's all I know. Okay then, so he's had his use. So let's move on to the next dwarf, which we'll fight next time. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, don't you know that my brothers and myself are guarding this tower? Uh, did you come to challenge me? Yes, I did, but we'll uh, do that next time. So, thank you for watching. Uh, <coughs> thank you for watching Let's Play in Zora. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next time, we'll go fight this guy and probably his brothers. But until then, have a nice day and goodbye.